When the city of Toledo announced in 2012 it was closing the Northwest District Station, Tina Scott went door to door collecting signatures to petition city leaders to reverse that decision. And we worked hard and we were turned down and the woman that was in charge of that, when she got turned down, it was like a stab in the back. Don't take something away from the people that they really truly believe in, and that is public safety. Reopening the Northwest Station was one of Mike Collins' campaign promises. They, they want that police presence there, and I think it's my responsibility as the mayor to see that their wishes are fulfilled. Scott says her West Toledo neighborhood has deteriorated since the station was closed. There's a lot of break-ins um, on icitizens.org. You know, we get the text stating that breaking and entering, also uh, alarms going off. Uh, somebody was held up with a knife on Sylvania Avenue. Impersonation of a police officer on Watson. Uh, a lot of disorderly conduct. City workers walked through the building this afternoon. Collins has ordered a more thorough examination for next week. Hopefully by the end of next week we'll have an evaluation as to how mechanically sound the building is and what it needs to go, go back into operations. Last year, City Council approved $100,000 to reopen the station. Collins says he would not be surprised if it will cost more than that to make the necessary repairs. Hubert Wiggins, WNWO News.